Hey everyone, um, today I have a shop update for you guys. Um, I've been working on quite a lot of stuff and um, yeah, so I'll probably have this stuff listed on Saturday or so. Um, I still have to take all the pictures and everything and that takes a long time. So just uh, I'll let you guys know when I get it done, but most likely Saturday. By Saturday night I'll have everything um done. Um, I'll put uh, links in the description for my shop if you don't know. And yeah, so I, go, I will just get started. The first thing I have is this cupcake bow, which I'm sure you guys remember from my contest entry for Tattooed Cookies contest. This is the original bow, um, the first one I ever made. Uh, so yeah, I have this one. And, um, I know a lot of people, um, have, are going to want these because I've already gotten a couple questions about them. Um, so my thing is, uh, I'm into one of a kind things. I only make things once, so I will not be like making these like a bunch and just selling them to everyone. Every bow that I make is one of a kind so I will not be remaking this exact bow. I will do variations so um, I'll make with different backgrounds, different ribbons, stuff like that and I'll put different stuff inside um, but I've decided that I will um, start to carry these in my shop because I haven't seen anyone doing so which I'm sure now they will start but um you know, as far as I know, this is a Frills and Chills original, but, you know, whatever. I'm sure someone will come along. <laughs> but, yeah, so I will have this one, and I will um, do some more different ones in the future. So, if you guys want one of these, be sure to check out my shop. Like I said, they're one of a kind, so it's like first come, first serve. Um, so, yeah. I, I will take, I do take custom requests, um, but I, like I said, I will not replicate exactly. This stuff is all in my shop policies, so if you, uh, could check those out, that would be awesome. Like, before asking me something, that would be awesome. But, you know, yeah, so I have this one. Sorry, it's kind of noisy. Um, then I also have the photo holder from my contest entry. It's purple and pink themed. And yeah, it will hold your pictures or whatever. So yeah, I have that one. And then I have this birthday pin. This is something that is exclusive to just my shop. Um, I have Actually, I don't think I have any currently in stock, but um, I do make these occasionally, and I can do custom. I can also do them for little boys. I have, um, like, you know, superhero stickers and stuff like that, so I can do it for a little boy, little girl. I could do it for, you know, any age, pretty much. This one says I'm one, so it's obviously for a, one, a girl who's turning one, but... Um, I could always do like a funky one for like a girl who's turning 21 or you know something like that um, but this one has a Hello Kitty with a crown, it's a cupcake, um, a lollipop, all kinds of different stuff going on and then it has these ribbons uh, kind of cascading down and then it's on a two-way clip so it could be pinned to your clothes, to your backpack, whatever or in your hair. So. Yeah, I, it says I'm one, if you can see that there, it's super glittery, super glammy. So yeah, I have that. And then um, next is pretty much all jewelry, so I'll just start off like with the simplest ones first, I guess. Um, so first I have, oh my gosh, I'm dropping everything. Um, as far as my simpler necklaces, I have this um, chocolate gummy bear. Um, it's just a brown glittery chocolate gummy bear and it comes on a rainbow cord. I have this Harajuku girl. 
and it's got some rhinestones and then it has a little um, heart charm on there as well. It's also on a rainbow cord. And then I have this cake one. It's just like a short cake kind of thing and it's, there's a heart that says sweet and then on the top um, of the cake it also says sweet and then I put some sprinkles and then kind of a cake batter color glitter and then it comes on a rainbow cord. Next, I have this uh, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, little babies. This is a small square pendant. Let's see, it's super shiny. And then um, it's on a beaded chain with stars and uh, plastic uh, clear crystal beads. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Pretty small, you can see in the size of my hand. So it'd be great for a little kid. And then I have this piece, which I love this so much. Um, it's a cat and a bear with some sweets, and it's like a pink and red kind of theme. So you can see it's super sparkly. And then it comes on a beaded chain with all these different kinds of beads. And then some pink chain, and this one has a toggle clasp. So yeah, I have that one. Then I have this Scully Girl. A black and white, um, black and white, black and rainbow, sorry. Um, with some rhinestones on there. It's very iridescent, glittery. And then it's on a beaded chain. Pretty much everything I do is on a beaded chain, but, you know. It's got these, these beads. Rainbow kind of deal. So yeah, there's that one. Then I have this piece. It's a little um, star with a pink macaroon with a hot pink background. Lots of stuff going on in the inside. And it's on a beaded chain. It's got a little strawberry charm. It's got some pearls and then some iridescent beads. And then um, half pink and half red chain. Yeah, that's what that one looks like. Then I have um, and this uh, bear, angel bear piece. Um, it's super sparkly. It's got like stars and moons and stuff in it. And then it's on a beaded chain as well. And then with iridescent beads and then pastel stars. And there's that one. Then I have This Alice in Wonderland piece. Super duper sparkly. And then it's on a beaded chain. And it has two charms. It has a little teapot. And a little um, tea bag. On a beaded chain with some pearls, striped beads, uh, chunky beads with some blue chain. So yeah, there's that one. And then I have 
is this? Um, like love angel heart thing. It's got some rhinestones around the border. And the hair, sorry. <laughs> um, super sparkly, got some rhinestones around the border. And of course, on a bead chain. Lots of pink, uh, pink beads with some yellow um, star accents. There's that one. And I have this piece, which is like my favorite one of the bunch. It's this um, Barbie piece, and it's got a bow and then some rhinestones, and it's super sparkly. It's on a very over the top chain, and it has some heart, little heart charms dangling. Light, lots of chunky beads. I love this so much. It's so cute. I tried to do Barbie but not do just pink because I know typically Barbie is like very pink. But I tried to throw some other colors in there. I think it looks pretty cute. I tried to do um, some more gothic pieces this time because I tend to do a lot of sweets but um I like to do gothic stuff too so or like darker stuff whatever um first I have this one it's kind of like rockabilly like I can imagine a rockabilly like kind of girl wearing it if that makes any sense but it's Frankenstein and his bride and then I put these beads Yeah. It's got some rhinestones on there too. Little hearts. There you go. So yeah. I think it's cute. Camera doesn't want to focus, sorry. There we go. So that's that one. And I have this one which has this little coffin and a bat and stars and a moon and then I put the spider above it and then there's a beaded chain mainly black and white with some red accents So yeah, that's that one. And then I have this, this necklace, which is a coffin. It's got some spider webs, the little scream guy, spider, knife, bat. And then I did it kind of rosary style, so it's got this skull bead here. And then it comes down, but then the rest of the chain is really long. Um, black um, beads and then um, red pearls and then some black beads and then chain so it's really long and it looks kind of like rosary style so yeah there's that one next I have this piece it's got a, like a metal spider some spider webs in there. And then it's on a black and white um, kind of chain. And then it has these bats. Whoops. These bats. And then more chain. So, yeah. That is how it looks. I really like that one too. And lastly, I have a set of best friend necklaces. These are not resin, but I think they are so cute. Um, I have these. Um, Woody and Buzz best friend necklaces. I'll show you one at a time. 
Here's Woody. There's his little chain, and then it says best with a heart. And he's got yellow, red, and then brown beads with some blue accent beads. This is what he looks like. And then Buzz. Here's Buzz. And then he has purple, green, clear, and then it says Buds. So best buds and then black accent beads wanted to do something a little bit different with these guys so yeah this is how they look together just says best buds and there they are and all their best friendness <laughs> Oh wait, I have one more, just kidding. Um, this one has to be on my little hanging thing for you to truly like see it and appreciate it. This is something that's totally different than what I normally do. Um, but it's still kind of me. So, oh, this is it. Sorry for the like background change. But it's a um, cameo with uh, Bambi in it and then some flowers, some rhinestones and then a chain of brown pearls, iridescent beads and then um, some like cascading kind of um, flowers. I made the flowers myself um, as well so yeah it's like kind of choker style usually all oh, my necklaces are kind of long but it's like choker style kind of <laughs> and then, yeah, that's what it looks like. It has iridescent glitter. It looks green, but it's really pink. And then it's just really iridescent. And then the flowers. So, yeah. That is it. That's my shop update. Um, like I said, I will list these things probably by Saturday night. So you can look forward to that. Um, yeah, that's what I've pretty much been up to. Um, I didn't get as much sewing done as I wanted to, but, you know, I still have some new stuff, so not a total waste of free time. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Um, check out my shop when I get all the stuff done. And yeah, I hope you guys liked it and I'll talk to you later. Bye.